Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got a few topics to end the week out on, including some interesting sales in January, and a new amiibo that may be getting ready to get pre-orders. And the Kingdom Heart collection is being released on the Switch as a streaming version, and it's not looking good. But before we get started, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content on this channel. Now let's get started. The first thing I want to look at today is the Kingdom Hearts collection that was released on the Switch. There's been a lot of grumbles about the quality of this release. First, if you're not familiar with this, this version is streaming only, so you can only play this when you're connected to the internet. Now, you would think, okay, it's streaming, but at least it'll run. Well, not so fast. So, there's already a day one patch for this, I guess you would call it streaming application, and that's not unusual for an application to have a day one patch. There's obviously fixes they know need to be applied, and that just comes out the day that the game comes out. However, even after this patch, users are still having issues with network congestion and crashing. So the more interesting thing is the network congestion and the fact that if everybody is trying to play at once, then you may be out of luck and not get to play this game that you bought. People are also experiencing the system crashing, especially in docked mode. Now, Square released the Guardians of the Galaxy, also as a streaming version, over three months ago. And you would think they would have a lot of these issues hammered out, but apparently not. There was lots of issues with the Guardians of the Galaxy version, and I really didn't pay much attention to it at the time, but it seems like those still aren't really resolved yet. Since this is a streaming game, you would think the application that connects to the stream can pretty much be universal. But if you didn't have hesitations for buying any type of streaming game on the Switch, this definitely will make you think twice. And on our next topic, let's talk a little bit about sales in the month of January. So NPD Group released their sales figures, and it's pretty interesting here. So for the month of January, the software sales were down, and total overall sales were down. But what's interesting is that the game hardware is up 22% as compared to January of last year. But what I find more interesting about this is they also stated that the PlayStation 5 outsold all other consoles with the Xbox Series systems behind that. So I believe this marks the first time that the Switch family of systems falls into third place on sales. Now the Switch already has a huge install base, so I'm not too worried about that, but the system has been out for nearly five years now, so a lot of people who wanted a Switch have a Switch. And they probably got a little bit of a boost from the OLED version that just recently came out, and that's probably waning off now too. But what do you think? Do you think this is good news for PlayStation? I know their numbers were down in the last quarter because it seemed to be mostly supply issues. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. And then our last topic, it looks like the Min Min Amiibo is getting ready to be released for pre-order. This is over here on Nintendo's official site. Now we talked about this before in a previous episode, but the CPSIA certifications is basically a certification that it's safe for kids to use this product, and there's no toxins or other type of things like that. So this popped up yesterday, and the Min Min one now has a certificate, and usually that indicates that it's getting pretty close to going to retailers. So I would expect to see pre-orders sometime soon. Now if we can just get that Sephiroth one. And that's all the topics I have for today. Anything here catch your interest? Were you kind of surprised to hear the PlayStation 5 was the top selling console in January? And are there any other amiibos you're waiting for? Be sure to drop me a comment down below and let me know. I want to thank you for watching and be good.